Hi everyone! Welcome to another episode of Ivy Day. And today is another special episode because today we are celebrating Mother's Day. And since uh, it's Mother's Day, I'll be spending my day with my family. So join us today as I show you how we celebrate Mother's Day in the Tia home. Let's go! Hi everyone, welcome to our home and today is a Sunday, so it's our rest day. So today we're not working because it's... Mother's Day! Thank you. So it's my day? Of course it's your day. So where's my flowers? No flowers. Just <laughs> you said don't have flowers because... Because uh, I'm flowers on Mother's yes. Day. So I told him, don't get me the flowers. It's too mahal. Yes. So, Tipid muna tayo, pandemic eh. Uh, right. <laughs> and, and in fact, I was expecting sana, meron akong flowers this morning. And then when I woke up, wala talagang flowers. Really? Talagang, talaga sinilyosa niya yung sabi ko, wag magbigay ng flowers. You know, you know, you know, Singaporeans are like that. Eh? Is we take things literally. So no flowers means no flowers. Ah. <laughs> it's okay because today, even if I don't have flowers, he's doing something different for me. Okay. So shall we begin? Sure. Okay. What dishes are we cooking okay. for everybody for Ivy Day? Today uh, is Mother's Day. Yes. So we're gonna have a family lunch, okay. uh, and I've taken down um, the orders from the family. All right. So, um, Ivy, I'm surprising her with the Singapore chicken curry. I will cook uh, my Singaporean bihun, actually, which is our favorite. Yes, actually, favorite namin yung Singaporean bihun. It's actually the recipe of my mother-in-law, your yes, mom. Well. And every time we go to Singapore on our first day, pagdating pa lang namin sa Singapore, she would cook for us our favorite Singapore dishes. Z decided to learn her cooking and so that we can at least eat it here in Manila. And then the kids have requested for me to grill um, steak. Okay. We're in for a treat today because today I'm going to grill a different kind of, of steak. It's not the usual ribeye or the sirloin uh, or the tomahawk. Uh, today I'm going to grill um, the picanha steak. Right? Picanha steak. Actually, it's my first time to try your picanha steak. Yes. Because actually, he prepared this talaga specially for Mother's Day. Yes. Sabi niya, he's creating a new steak dish That's right. for Mother's Day for me and the kids. Para special talaga tong day na to. Before we begin, yes. we have to wear our aprons. Oh, okay. Alright. Okay. Cool. This is our special daddy. apron. Daddy. Because I'm mommy and it's Mother's Day. Okay. And you're daddy because okay. you're the daddy of the house. Alright. So, Chef Z, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Ready? Um, so, we'll start I'm off first with our... Singaporean chicken curry. Okay, so okay. the first dish is Singaporean chicken curry. Hey. Learn from the expert. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's start. Before we do that, it's like one and a half hours before we start. Yes. The marination of the chicken is key. Okay, so uh, this is my special concoction. It's, my, it's a mixture of curry powder, turmeric, a bit of ginger, chili powder, uh, chicken seasoning, salt, Bit of sugar, so we already blended all these into the blender, and now. So this is your secret yes. recipe. Okay, so just put it in the chicken, all right, and then curry leaves. Is I love curry leaves, all right. So I put the curry leaves together with it, okay, and then my hands are washed already, so I'll just have to marinate that, and then just uh, massage them in, okay. So the idea is to really massage. So the key is the right marination. Yeah. No? So you have to do this now, dear, one and a half hours before. One and a half hours before you do that. Okay. So after you have finished your okay. marination. Uh, after you finish, your hands are dirty. Dirty. <laughs> so we leave them into the fridge. Okay. So right. this is the marinated chicken. Na ilalagay natin sa fridge. We set aside for one and a half hours, then we cook. Okay. okay. Cook now the chicken curry. Okay. Okay. So after marinating. Is, after marinating, we then go on to prepare the potatoes. Okay. All right. So the potatoes, um, just slice them up uh, into halves or into halves will be good. Usually they're always like that. It comes like this. Uh, in one portion, it'll be one half of each. So it'll be two of each half. All mm -hmm. right. I like it when the potatoes are big. Yeah. Set up with the rice. Oh, so you just fry it. So you just it. put it in. Okay. Just fry it. 
So just let it go. How many minutes do you fry it? Uh, there's no actual time, but once it becomes like this. Okay, so that's our goal. There's a goal. A little bit brown on the outside, then we're good. We're good to go. After frying, we're gonna put the chicken in, huh, we'll, dear? Yeah, we'll do the chicken after that. So this one, uh, your chicken, right? So all you have to do is put a little bit of oil. Don't put so much, alright? Because you don't want it to be too oily, alright? So you just put it in, and then you start to fry. Okay? Okay. You start to fry the chicken. Fry the chicken. Okay. Actually, our kids, uh, they eat chicken curry. Uh. You think kids don't eat something spicy, but our kids love spicy food. They, they got it from you. Yes. The Singa spicier, the, the better. Singaporean taste buds. A little trivia. Okay. Okay. Is that you can eat this with rice. Yes. Or you can eat, eat, eat this with French loaf. Oh, parang French bread. Actually, nakakaguto pag naamoy niya yung bango ng chicken curry. Oh. And that's his own recipe of chicken curry. Mmm, bango. Smells good, right? Yeah, it really smells good. Okay. Okay. All right. okay. So, we so we'll cover let it cover. It so that it's a little bit okay. faster. All right. And after we are done with this, okay. we we'll then put in the potatoes, put in the coconut, all right? And then we'll put in a bit of lemongrass, and then we just let it simmer. Okay. So now, okay, so after frying this for a few minutes, the chicken is about 60 to 70% done. Okay. All right. You can see the smell is super mm. good. Then put in all your potatoes. Okay. All right. Okay. Put in the lemongrass. Wow! <laughs> Sarap ng lemongrass, no? It adds yes. the flavor. Okay. So just a little stir. Make everything go in first. And then, what we'll do right now is to put in the coconut. Wow. I'll show you, huh? Mix it oh, there. Wow. Very okay, well. So, you just, once you are mixed with that, okay. then you cover it. Because okay. you want to bring it to a boil. Okay. okay. So we're almost done. Yay. All right. So this is the finishing touches. A little bit more coconut. This is a thicker bit of coconut just to give it a consistency. Can you see it? Anything with coconut masala, no? <laughs> I love coconut. Yeah, good. Just like laksa. His laksa. Next time we'll teach him how to cook her laksa if he will allow me. Okay. <laughs> and then. The final touches okay. will be just a pinch of salt. You can do a pinch of salt. All right, at least my silbidin naman ako, no? Okay, a pinch of salt. it's a salt. Pinch? Yeah, yeah Judai taught me how to pinch. Okay, very good. Okay, and then, right. that's enough? That's enough. Okay. And then what we'll do is put the garnishing. Okay, I'll do it. Okay. Put the garnishing. And, and then, then, chili. Chili. Just put it mm. in the middle as well. How much? Middle. If you want more spicy, you put a little bit more. Ah, in the middle only for decorative lamb ba to? Yes. But and it gives a little bit of also. taste. also. Ayan. Alright, dear. So are we done? We are done. Let's show them Let's your take a look. Singapore there chicken we go. curry. Done. You can have this with white rice, which is I think a lot of uh, is a staple. Or you can have this with um, a baguette. Alright, so French loaf, uh, slightly toasted. And then this is something that you just dip inside and then you just eat it. Okay? Yay! Dip it and eat it. Yum. Yes! Okay, so now we're cooking our second dish, dear. Mm -hmm. So what's our second dish again? Well, I'm gonna cook our Singaporean bihun. Actually, okay. kahit nakapikit si Zika niya natuin to eh. Yes. He cooks this every day. So what are you cooking now? He's so fast. Yeah. So what are you putting? I'm putting the eggs. Okay, the eggs. So you put the garlic first. The garlic first. Okay, then? And then the this, egg. this egg is scrambled. Just put it there, two, two or three eggs. Less. I love eggs. Actually, yeah. ang pinak for me, masarap talaga siya with the eggs. Nakadagdag siya ng certain flavor. The important thing is that we cook the ingredients separately from the bihun. After the eggs? After the eggs. So, yeah. how you just, you uh, know, parang scrambled egg yeah, just, just, just scramble it. Put a so bit of soy sauce. Actually, it's like soy sauce okay. and egg, no? Soy sauce and egg. You like soy sauce and egg? Yes, it's yeah. like Right with rice. So you can see that the egg is now starting to uh, wow. huddle up and then it becomes almost like a fried. You don't overcook the egg yes. because you must understand that the egg is going to go back in into the bihun later. Ah, you're going to eat it again. Yes. So okay. you must always almost cook it like almost like 70%. Okay. Right? You can see it. It's Right? You like okay. it? You smell it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you can see this one. Now I put it oh, here. Oh, so you cook it? I put it separately. Okay, you set this aside now. Yes, set it aside. Okay. We're gonna put a little bit more oil. Uh, oil again. Again, and okay. oil again. Alright. Okay, let it go. And then garlic. 
Again, garlic. Okay, garlic this time. So your garlic is your measure, all right, of when you should put your other ingredients. Okay, so the garlic you cannot make sure, you have to make sure you don't overcook the garlic. Okay. Okay, so as soon as you can smell, mm. right, that little fried garlic, okay. you, put in the, you put in your other ingredients. Which is? So this is uh, pork. Pork. Alright. Um, belly pork, right, oh, nice and fatty. Yes. Okay, so put in the belly pork first. Uh, because you want the oils to come out. Yes, so but uh, you yeah. taste no pork. Correct. No. Okay. Darling, but if you're not, if you don't eat pork, you don't eat pork. Then you can just do seafood. Seafood. Okay, ah. so now I'm going to put in... So you don't have to cook the pork na sobrang No. No, no need. No, you have to put all together. Ah, so the three okay. ingredients for the Singaporean bihun is sliced belly pork, squid, and then of course prawns. Okay, mm. prawns cook a little bit faster, so that will be the last to go in. Okay. Actually, <laughs> this recipe is uh, also your original mom's recipe. Darling, original, you know? original. So this is not something this she learned from a cookbook or from someone, but it's really original recipe from the Tio family. I mean, this is a Singaporean bihun. Yes, but, but her own style. But this is more Tio yes. Singaporean bihun. Usually, um, I guess maybe in cook shows, yes. they have like exact amount, exact amount, yes. exact amount. But my mom always tells me that cooking is an art. True. So you cannot really like, tell exactly amount. You put it in and according to the taste and the smell, uh -huh. then you just put a little bit more, yes, a little pinch of true. this, a little pinch of that. Yes, so every true. time you cook it, it's slightly different. I so you can see now it's already done. Okay. All right. So, so I'm that's done. Put it here. I'll put it again there. There. Set and the then. side again. So what's next? Okay, so I'm gonna cook the bihun now. Finally. Bihun, bihun here. Okay. So what dear yeah. along bihun yeah? Ah, this bihun is very special. Uh. Okay. This bihun is from Singapore. It's very hard to find this sort of bihun that is uh, um, nice and springy. No. So okay. a lot of times you see the bihun it becomes a little bit too soft and a little bit too, you know, it's like soggy. Yes, you're right. You know right. what I mean? Ito parang ano siya, firm and, and yeah. hard. Just the right consistency, no? And so, tama lang yung nipis. Yeah. You know, it's nice when you smell the garlic yes. with the bihon. Okay. Mm, actually, pwede nga yun na lang eh. Now, very, very importantly right yes. now, okay. almost done. Alright. Take your ingredients and okay, put it in the, the middle. Okay, these were the free ones that you cook, diba? Okay. The eggs with the, with the seafood and pork. Yes. Okay, the important thing is not to over put too much ingredients because it's gonna overpower everything else. You just put a little dab of oyster sauce. Oh. Okay, you just want it a little bit darker. That's okay. So you can just mix it together. For the bihun, very important is that all the the bihun is yes. all nicely mixed okay. in. Okay. Okay. So you have to mix the ingredients very well. Yes. Mm -hmm. But it's not dry because you don't want bihun that's too dry. No? Okay. Alright. And then, what yes. we like to do, of course, we have to start to put in a little bit of crunch to it. A little bit of bean sprouts. Okay. Go in. Then, as my mom always says, you have to sprinkle some carrots. Carrots. Okay. okay. What else do you need? I'll carry it for you. Oh, okay. These ones are actually fried onion shallots. Yes, this So this one. is done beforehand. Just cut those little small shallots and then just fry it, deep fry it in oil, okay? And then... Actually, I, you know, mm. in, in my mother-in-law's house in Singapore, she always has this pre-prepared na nakalagay na sa isang container para every time she cooks, she just puts it on top of her favorite dishes, no? Yes. Yeah. Now, yes. we're almost done. All right. You can see that the bihun is really ah, yes. all soaked in, all right? And then what we'll do right now is we'll just put it into our plate can you give me the plate, darling? Alright. Yan ang trabaho ko dito, akong assistant. Yes. Kasi hindi ako nagluluto. So, you can just mix it up a little bit. Alright. And then, you just put it in like this. The finishing is almost as important as cooking it. Alright. So, I'll let you do the, you want to do the honors? Really? Okay. Yeah. So, what so how? Take the okay. spring onions and All then right. sprinkle it down. Okay. Para lang mayroon naman akong yeah. juice. Yeah. All the way. More, 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 more greens. Okay. That's the one. Yeah, this is masara. Okay. And then, take this. Ah, uh, yeah, this onions, is my favorite. And then put as much as you want. Okay. I know you like it yes. more. No, masarap talaga siya with this. 
may crunch kasi siya, siya matamis kasi siya eh. Okay. Alright. Alright. Yay. And then the final bit is a little bit of white pepper. Okay. The white yes. pepper and then you just sprinkle it like this. So that's our Singaporean bihun. Yay. Ready to eat. Yay. Wow, Let's yummy. Go. Smell it. Mmm. Love this. Okay, so we are done with our Singaporean bihun. And so our third recipe is? Um, we're gonna do steaks. steaks. Okay. Okay, so, so we're gonna move over move to Move over to my grill. grill. Okay. Aside from being a good cook, not only of Singaporean dishes, one of these specialty is also grilling. That's good. Yes. Love grilling. Right, dear? The thing that I was yes. known for was more grilling. Grilling talaga. Yeah. Kaya dati ang kinakain namin, puro grill. grill. Kasi hindi Lamb chop, yes. steaks, tomahawk, sausages, whatever. Yes. So I love grilling. Today I'm doing the picanha steaks. Uh, this is actually very famous in Brazil or Argentina, uh, South American uh, countries. Uh, they are actually known almost as uh, the queen of cuts. Really? I put them just at the edge of the fire. Mm -hmm. Alright? Mm -hmm. I don't really put it straight on the fire because then it will just dry everything up. The key for um, steak preparation and steak grilling is placement of the meat um, temperature as well as to make sure that you know when to flip the steaks and to know when to put the steaks and uh, make it according to what type of doneness you want. Mm -hmm. This is the first time he's actually grilling picanha steak. And I think this is because it's Mother's Day. Kailangan something different, different and special yung lulutuin niya sa akin for yes. today. Because yeah. picanha steaks are known to be really juicy. Oh. Uh, like you. Like me. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll just close this up. I know, kasi parang nasa-steam na yung face right. pa dear eh. And then let the, te let the, let the temperature go up for masyado. it to grill. Hey Kelly, while Daddy's cooking and finishing his grill, should he set up the table already? Okay. Uh, you want? Yeah. Okay, let's go. So Kelly, help mommy put this. Do you know what we're eating today, Kelly? Uh... Do you have any idea? No. So daddy's cooking chicken curry. Your favorite bihun? From Grandma's cooking and the boy's favorite, the steak. Yeah. I think the food should be ready any minute now. Daddy's just there grilling. Can your steaks are done? Thanks, dear. Thank you for cooking today for me. I'm so excited and the kids are so excited. Oh, yeah, it's gonna be Mother's a special Day. Sunday. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you, darling. So, Z is already cutting his meat because it's uh, ready, ready and cooked and grilled perfectly. And because there's meat, then the boys are here. Diba, Kenzie? Once you smell meat, you are here. Kaya wala kayo dito. Nung naluto lang yung steak, nandito na kayo. Huh? Kenzo, are you happy? Excited? Yeah. Huh? Steaks yummy. Steaks yummy. Is Daddy a great griller? Yeah. Really? Great cook? Yeah. yeah. What's your favorite dish from Daddy's... Um, what, what is your favorite dish? Hainanese Among chicken. Among his Hainanese chicken? Yeah. You. Chicken. Also? Yeah. What's your second favorite? Uh, Bihun. Bihun? Yeah. You. Fried rice. Fried rice. And your third favorite? Uh, laksa. Oh, laksa. What about steak? When oh, does yeah, steak come in? Steak. I forgot steak. <laughs> I thought, I thought steak's probably here first. Steak's like first. <laughs> See? Okay. Me, me. Steak. Okay. Wow. So we're eating already before we... Because you know, once the steak is cooked, they don't want to eat their own. They can eat their own. Small one for you, baby girl. 
Okay. How is it? So what can you say? Mommy, you want? Okay, me too. <laughs> yes, you can have more Kenzo. So this is Kenzo, our second boy. And this is Kenzie. And that little girl there is? Are you ready for Mother's Day lunch? Yeah. Or should we eat here? Everyone's hungry and ready to eat. Okay, go. Okay, yay. Time for lunch. Yay. So dear, that was fun. We had so much fun cooking, grilling, mm -hmm. and enjoying um, preparing the meal for our lunch together. Yes. Yeah, but I think there's nothing better than enjoying um, a good meal with the family and preparing it with love. And anything that's cooked with love is always beautiful. It's my pleasure to feed you and the family all the time. Happy, Happy Mother's Day! Thank, Thank you! Yeah. Love, you. Love, love, you. Love, love you guys. Okay, let's drink to that. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Before we start, we'll say grace. Kelly, can you say grace for us, Kelly? Okay. okay. Uh, Laura, thank you for this food. I hope that we we'll have a great Mother's Day, and Mommy will have a great Mother's Day. And thank you for Mommy, because she's working super hard for us. And pray to have a good meal and a good conversation. Should I pray? Amen. 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 Well done, Kelly. Okay. Are you guys ready to eat? Yeah. Everything's good, that darling. Mm -hmm. Daddy, everything's perfect. Thank you for this Mother's Day lunch. Mm -hmm. Shut up. Better than restaurant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day! Thank you. Thank you for a beautiful and yummy meal. Mm -hmm. It's better than any gift Daddy could ever give you. It's amazing how you It's a surprise for our Aww. mommy today. Wow. There's a surprise? Yes. Yeah. The, kids, the kids wrote something to mommy. Oh. And they've got a love letter to mommy, right kids? Yes. Thank you. Happy Mother's Day, mommy. Thank you for working so hard for us, mommy. We are so lucky to have you. Thank you for thank you for being so kind to us during the pandemic and always being there for us. Oh, thank you, Kenzo. Thank you, Kenzo. Nice. Love you. Happy Mother's Day for Mommy makes you love Kelly. Love you, Mommy Owen. So that says, thank you for all that you have done for me. We are very grateful to have you. Thank you so much. We love you, Mommy. And thank you for working so very hard for us every single day, just for us to have a very happy and great and unforgettable childhood. Mm -hmm. Thank you so very much, Mommy and Daddy. Love you so much, Mommy and Daddy. Happy Mother's Day. Love you, Mommy. Oh, thank you, baby. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Kelly. Mm -hmm. Mm. Um, happy Mother's Day, Mommy. Thank you, Mommy, for being the best mom. And working so hard for us every day. Um, thank you for always being so kind to us and always um, helping us and whenever we have problems. Uh, I love you, Mommy. Thank Yay. you, Candy. Peace out, Mommy. Mm. Mm, thank you, Mom. My greatest blessings are my babies. <laughs> happy Mother's Day. Oh, wow. Berlin, hey. love for you, Berlin. Yeah. Yes. Yummy. Yes. So much cake. Wow, that was indeed a super, super fun and memorable Mother's Day. Thank you guys from our lunch, from Z cooking, to the kids preparing the table, to the kids preparing a love letter for Mommy on Mother's Day, to Z singing. That was a mem very memorable Mother's Day for me. Thank you guys for everything. I love you guys. And I hope you guys enjoy today's Mother's Day celebration with the Tio family. I'm indeed the luckiest woman on earth. Thanks to all these lovely people. 
and you guys are the best. So thanks for joining us. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And see you on our next Ivy Day! Ivy Day again! Ivy Day! <laughs> Louder! Ivy see you Day. on our next Ivy Day! Ivy Day. Thanks for joining guys and see you again next time. Bye and happy Bye. Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Bye. Time to eat. Who wants who wants cheesecake? Say Can you eat cheesecake? Oh, oh, okay. It's now mommy's time to serve cheesecake to everyone. Are you happy we're together the whole day today? No work for mommy and daddy. Yeah. Everybody now. The smile on your face. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing. There's nothing.